know, they brought us into the rooms where the victim and their family would be. Um, and then down into uh, the courtroom. Um, I'm even thinking about it now, it still makes me feel a little bit, a little bit sick. I suppose it was just, you know, you don't realise, first of all, how small it is. And, and you know, when you, when you walk in and then she said, like, you know, you can walk up this way. And, you know, the um, victim, when she's giving, or she or he, when they're giving their evidence, is here. And then the alleged perpetrator, it, it, I mean, it's basically where we are yeah. to each other now. Um, and there was just something so horrifying about that. And I couldn't, un I really couldn't understand the logic behind it. I was like, why don't, why isn't it back further? Why isn't it across um, the other side of the room? And she was like, it's really important that the jurors see, you know, both faces. Um, but it just felt again, it, it just, it, uh, doing the documentary, it just felt like there was obstacle after obstacle after obstacle put up to prevent people from reporting, from getting to, the, um, getting to uh, into the court.